My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, happy post-July 4th. Yeah, how about that? Uh, in the hearth of summer. Uh, I'm doing bad, how are you? I'm doing great. I was actually boardwalking on the boardwalk, New Jersey Shore. If you know that song, leave in the comments, doubt you do. Okay, sports. Jim, baseball, Ooh. obviously, uh, because we don't cover the bleeping hot dog contest anymore. Nope. Colton Brewer, three, two, one, six. six. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like there. good Southern mm -hmm. baseball boy. Uh, if he played for the Brewers, right. seven. Electric. Uh, he plays for the Cubs, their division rivals, but kind of not this year because they've been bad. And an all-encompassing baseball moment where he breaks his hand punching a wall in the dugout. This is a pitcher, number one sin, although he does it with his offhand. And he's like 31, which I was like, I don't know. You can't do that. But then we watch the highlights, and I think I'm Team Colton. Break that hand. It was a bad inning. It was a no-good bad inning. And uh, Zach Nito, <laughs> neat dude. Neto. Fake name, clearly. As one of the, I don't Tough. even, just one of the, as a pitcher, one of the swings that are just going to just like grind your ears. Is it a swing? He threw some balls away. The catcher threw some balls away, but he hit a batter in the foot, the back foot slider, perfect oh. aim. But that, Zach, swing. It's a backbreaker. It's a handbreaker. That's a handbreaking swing. He did use his offhand. You're supposed to do that because if you hurt it, you can still pitch. Right. And what did he say? His quote was, my intention wasn't to break my hand. It's a tough. Messed up. Ooh. It doesn't even make sense. That's no excuse, though. There's a lot I can prove out there. And I'm willing not to do stuff like that. And I'm willing not to do stuff. I'm willing not to do stuff like that. I'm willing to not punch walls. What was this uh, almost breakdown you're telling me? Old guy gets hit in the dick. <laughs> This is almost a breakdown is classic because everyone likes nut shots and it's just, they got the camera angle perfect. Snit, manager of the Braves, beloved. 104 years old. 104? Ozzie Albies. guess. 12. <laughs> he hits a foul ball and Snit said, well, hit me right below the belt. Okay, a little high. So I, I really, truly don't think it got him in the... In the, in the biscuits? No, if this got him in the gourds, He's none out. of this happens. He's out. <laughs> I just love so many of the facial expressions. Like, Snit at one point gives this look like... Like, oh, shit. And Ozzy is genuinely concerned so much that he won't, like, step back in the box until he gets, like, a nod. Right. From Snit's like, go back in there. Snitker said he was avoiding TV the next morning because he did not want to watch the replay, but his son, Troy, made sure he saw it and sent it in, sent it to him. Here, Dad, here's you getting hit in the grundle. Hey, to all Zach's friends in the comments, uh, that's kind of tough, knowing that if you turn on sports television, which I'd assume Brian Snicker likes, there's a chance you're going to see yourself at 104 years old getting hit in the knickies. That stinks. That stinks. Turn on Bally, see Joe's walk me off with the fucking Zach Neto check swing. Mm. But yeah, just watch it again. Oh! More sports, please, Jake. Brought to you by Shady Rays. Jimmy's wearing his Shady Rays. But wait, I'm wearing his Shady Rays. So this is kind of like a Shady Rays Inception. Zach's top 100 movies? Sure. 100? Not a mine. 100 on the nose? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's... Snuck in there. <laughs> wow. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out for the next film you like. Huh? More sports. Cyclist Julien Bernard fined for kissing his wife during the Tour de France. Uh, man, A, the fact the Tour de France is going on right now. Tour de France used to matter in this country. Lance, one of these. Yeah, you just need an American to be good because it is the third most watched sporting event or second most or third most watched sporting event in the world. Oh. I have a giant PSA, public service. Uh, Put the letters up. I need a public service answer from the crowd. I'd like if they were the Sesame Street letters. Now, there's a word limit here, crowd, because whenever I ask people to explain me things in the comments, they write paragraphs. Oh, no. I am nine years old and I ask, how do the time trials affect the racers in the Tour de France? Please let me know. I just read 20 different articles and none of them said it in a simple way. So please help me out because this was a time trial. He got to the end. His wife was there. She organized it with all his friends. Really nice. They did a really good job, he said. He gave her a kiss. He has to pay $170. He said, I understand I disgraced the race, but I would do it again at any moment. I don't think he thinks he disgraced the race if you have to pay 175 bucks. It would have been, a, would have been a 180 if he didn't say that. What was this not sports you mentioned? So the not sports is pretty interesting. There's this guy named Santosh Lahar, and Three, he's two, one eight. 
Don't know. I think in the I region. Think, you think, I think so? I think okay. Name slaps. Yeah. Well, the region that he's from is. I didn't write it down, but if you look at India, it's the right hand. Stage right or audience right? Stage left. Okay. Is that right? <laughs> Tough to say. <laughs> okay. We still don't know. It's it's the New England of India. Okay. He got bit by a snake. He was sleeping. A snake bit him. Yeah. He immediately grabbed the snake, bit it twice. Yes. Why twice? Because in his village, there's a belief that if a snake bites you, you must bite it back twice to neutralize the venom. Mm. So that's what he did. And did it neutralize the venom? Who's to say? It could have been that or... Or it could have been the anti-venom they gave him when they rushed him to the hospital. You're not sure. I don't know. Nobody knows. If he didn't bite twice, Two does the anti-venom happened. work? Two things happened, and we don't know which one. We'd have to run another case study to find out which one worked. Did you see the video of this uh, little garden snake popping and set up the urinal hole? No. Oh, dude, this guy's peeing, and a little garden snake comes up. You got to find that side. I'm into that. It is kind of cute. As long as it's the little snake. I mean, if you got to pee on a snake. Snake's into it, too. Why is he hanging out in a urinal? Water park. It's the employee of the week. Boom, 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 boom. Employed by us. Kind of. It goes to a bunch of people. The Rose Rotation. Chris hey Rose now. podcast where he has a rotation star. of guests coming on that are MLB players. Glass now. Logan Webb. Come All on. stars. Yeah. Paid. You can hear them talk about it on the Rose Rotation. So, Glass now big, Web big, Rose small. Chris Rose tiny. When you make the picture. Ah, you make my fat ass tiny. I might get a call. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to call him today. This concludes the program. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Shady Rays. I have a custom pair. Jake has a custom pair. Our audience has loved Shady Rays. It's summertime. The sun's out. I went to the beach the other day. I had my Shady Rays on. I lifted them up. I went momentarily blind, and that's a true story. Told my sister, hey, lift your glasses up. She said, ah, why'd you do that? Put your Shady Rays back on. Best deal of the season, ShadyRays.com. Use code DUMB for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. And that offer applies to the custom Jimmy and Jay collab shades. So go get yours now. Zach might edit this out, but didn't you call Colin Brewer baby back for not pitching with one hand like Jim Abbott did? I just was saying people <laughs> done it. People done it. Cut it off. Cut it Finish off. Finish the season. Cut it off. Oh, oh, oh. Beer bat over there for the noise, just in case Zach needs it. Mm.